What is going on, Giants Nation, G-Man fans? What it do, Big Blue? Uh, first, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you for the congratulations yesterday. Uh, it was a long time coming. I wanted a boy for so long, and uh, I am relieved I finally will be getting one. So again, just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all your well wishes and congratulations. It truly means a lot, and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you um, for saying that to me. Um, there is no greater joy in life than seeing a kid be born and having your own kids. Um, and I hope everyone gets to experience that at some point in the uh, in all your lives. Um, so again, guys, thank you again. It really does mean a lot. Breaking news. We got a lot of news happening right now. You know, draft is in three days. I can't wait. I've again, I've expressed this enough. I've expressed how excited I am. This is going to be a wild, wild draft. This is the first draft in a while where there's really just no clear cut favorite number one overall pick because the quarterback class this year is really kind of weak. There's some good talent. You got Malik Willis, you got Kenny Pickett, you got Sam Howe, you got Matt Corral, you got the, got the guy from Cincy. But overall, not a really exciting quarterback class. So that is why it is just a crapshoot. There is a lot of wild things to be happening. A lot of trade backs, maybe some trade ups. Who knows? Um, but right now, I don't even know who's going to be taking one. Right now, the favorite, I believe, is Aiden Hutchinson from Michigan. Um, we will see. Um, the, the Jaguars are potentially trying to trade the pick, but really no one's jumping at the bit. No one really cares to trade for that first overall pick because the draft is just so wide open. No one really cares. Um, but we do got some news from East Rutherford that I would like to share with you guys and girls, any girls watching, you as well. Don't want to leave anyone out. Um, first news, the big news. Kadarius Tony. Now I got a lot of uh, hate messages from uh, some of you fans thinking uh, I don't like Tony. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, listen, I'm just reporting from what I get my reports from. I'm just sharing my information, just like you guys. I get my info from Twitter, some insight sources I have, but I have to keep them remain nameless for job security. Twitter, Bleacher Report, Facebook. WFAN, New York, New York Daily News, New York Daily Post, all that stuff. I got to keep it real. I just report what I hear. Is Pat Leonard a liar? He very well may be. He did get the Odell Beckham trade rumors started last time and they and turned out to be real as he was traded. Uh, but apparently Kadarius Tony has arrived at MetLife. Uh, the rumor is that he arrived Saturday over the weekend. Um, but we are just now getting uh, wind from it now that he has arrived. Now, whether Pat Leonard is a liar, who knows? Whether the trade rumors uh, happening and surrounding around Tony brought his ass to camp, that is still yet to be remained seen. But one is thing is for certain, he has arrived, and I'm glad. I'm glad he has arrived. That's all I wanted. I don't hate the guy. Yes, his work ethic is questionable. Yes, there's reports last year that he would fall asleep in meetings. He was slouching in his chair, not really paying attention. Some other reports came out that he may, he's a great route runner. There was rumors that he was running his own routes because he didn't remember the plays. And if he is freestyling his own routes, that's not a, that's a, an iffy thing. Uh, I mean, it's not that good for the quarterback to not know what he's going to do. Um, maybe have him, you know, get some separate routes for just him since he's a tremendous route runner. I don't know. But all I know is he has arrived at camp. I'm thrilled about it. Um, other reports are saying the Giants weren't really actively shopping him. They were just listening to offers, and it was going to take a boatload of picks and players, uh, what have you, to make the deal worthwhile for Joe Shane. And uh, he wasn't just going to trade him just to trade him. He knows he has immense talent, and he knows that he could be an offensive juggernaut killer with his speed and his footwork. Um, so he was just not going to trade him for no reason. 
um, which I am happy about. I don't want to waste another first round draft pick like we did with DeAndre Baker. Yes, Tony may have some red flags, but at the end of the day, he is a terrific football player. When healthy, when giving 100%, he could be that next Tyreek Hill X Factor, Percy Harvin, Debo Samuel type player. Um, so if he stays in the Giants, I will be more than thrilled for that, more than ecstatic about that. Um, and I'm excited to see what he can do this year going forward. Um, a little bit of other news breaking. Um, again, I am just going off from what I'm seeing from Giants beat writers. And per Dan Dugan, he has reported the Giants are actively shopping wide receiver Darius Slayton. Um, this does not come to a surprise at all, as Darius Slayton has a, had a rough last two seasons in New York. Um, he has not capitalized off his terrific rookie year that he had. I think he had seven or eight touchdowns his rookie season. He looked like he was going to be a steal in that fourth round pick. Um, but since then, he has just not been the same player. He's shrunken down the depth chart. I think he's now fourth uh, fourth receiver on the depth chart. Um, he's dropped some questionable passes. He had one slip right through his fingertips that could have sealed a W in Washington late last year. Um, but I'm not surprised with that news coming out of New York. Darius Slayton, good player, good guy overall. Um, but he's expendable. I think his cap hit, I was told, is two and a half mil this year. And he's got, I think, one year left on his contract unless we pick up his option. I would not be upset or uh, or depressed if we traded him. I'll take even a fifth round pick for him at this point. I don't think he's good enough to keep. I don't think he's good enough to offer a second contract extension to after this season. So if we are going to trade a receiver, he would be the odd man out. And I would be more than happy to see him go. Um, other than that, that's really all the news I got to say for now. Drafts three more days away. I am pumped up about it. Again, if you do not see my community post on my channel, uh, I will start my live stream around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the draft. Um, and I will record all the way through the first round. Um, and as well as I will record separate video for reactions for each giant selection made. Or if any, if they make any trades, I will record that reaction as well. Um, but I'm pumped, guys. I hope to see all you guys there in the live stream. Feel free to comment in the stream, in the chat. I'm there to answer any questions you guys have. And that's all together. Root for Big Blue. Um, again, guys, thank you again for yesterday's wishes. If you missed the gender reveal video, make sure you guys watch it. Um, and any guys, stay blessed, stay healthy, and as always, let's go. Jeebus!